and gentlemen, do you watch HBO? Because I watch HBO on occasion. And uh, about a week ago, I was watching um, 2014 induction ceremonies for uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Anybody see that? And, uh, you know, there was some cool stuff, you know, Kiss was there, and, and Springsteen, and they did a thing for Lou Reed, which uh, was, that was pretty cool. But out of all the acts that I saw, honestly, I thought the coolest thing was the tribute to Linda Ronstadt. And, uh, yeah, I think that was great. I mean, incredible body of work she had. Did a lot of great old rock and roll tunes. I, I had forgotten a lot of the songs that she had done. So... It was this incredible lineup of these insanely talented diva female vocalists. It was Carrie Underwood, Cheryl Crow, uh, Bonnie Raitt, uh, Stevie Nicks was there. Uh, did I say Stevie Nicks was talented? <laughs> I, okay, so they had, a, they, had a, they had three or four really talented female vocalists and Stevie Nicks, that's what I meant to say. What? Wow. Well, it's true. Anyway, so... What happened was, I'm sitting there going, this, this is really amazing. I'd forgotten about these songs, and uh, I just hit me. I said, you know, we could do this homegrown with our own Las Vegas divas, of which we have many. So, uh, with your kind permission, we're about to do that for you right now. This is a little bit of, a, of the uh, Linda Ronstadt tribute on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And the first song that we're going to do is with our very own uh, diva in the band, that is. That's Lisa Mayer. Say hello, darling. And the really cool thing I feel about this song is this, this was probably Linda's very first hit. And uh, I really like it because it was written by Michael Nesmith of the Monkees. And I had the incredible chance to meet him last year and hang out with him. And uh, I just thought he was an amazing person. And this is the f one of the first things he wrote pre-Monkees. And the story goes, <laughs> yeah, and the story goes that... Uh, uh, Stone Ponies and Linda recorded it a couple years after he got famous with the Monkees and uh, he, it's 1967, he's riding in a limo uh, with the rest of the Monkees and this song comes on the radio and Michael goes, hey, I wrote that song. And the rest of the Monkees went, fuck you, you didn't write that. <laughs> so here it is. Different drum.
Come on. Give me some air, Diva. <laughs>